Hey guys, guys, it's Andre here. Welcome to a review in a completely different place. Uh, you guys have seen this before, but um, never really. Uh, I did a Kinder Surprise review, but today we're looking at the Wild Safari Pterosaur. Now, don't have my stand over here because it's a completely different place. Don't have um, what was I going to say? And stick after the end of the video so you can see uh, here some updates of the channel and all that. I'll try and get my hand as steady as possible. But today we are looking at the Wild Safari Pterosaur. Now, uh, I said I was going to, oh yeah, by the way, Silent P. Now I said I was going to review this uh, after I, straight away after I reviewed the uh, Pachycephalosaurus from Papo. But uh, unfortunately I couldn't. Um, I was very busy, very, very busy. But, anyways, uh, today we're having a look at the pterosaur. Now, those raindrops on him are not the effect. Let me just say, what's why I did not add them, I added them myself. Uh, I will have to walk over here in Tipping Down Ring because obviously I live in Wales and we get a lot of rain. So, uh, but one thing I'm going to say straight off the back, what I love about this figure is the colouring. Now the colouring stands out tremendously. Can't obviously stand up because I got him in this pose of a <coughs> glide type of pose. Sorry, not flying, gliding. And he's got this great amount of colouring. I just love the colouring. And it really reminds me of the one from, uh, it's not the right colouring, I'll admit, but from the Walker with Dinosaurs. And that's the main reason I picked this up is because it was from the Walker with Dinosaurs. Now, just want to explain this, the rings are like the softer plastic and so are the head and the jaw made, really the jaws are, sorry for that noise, just this. Uh, but yeah, I just want to explain that. Uh, I really love the colouring, like I said, but let's have a look at the head first, because the head is the most important part in my opinion. Maybe not with the flying dinosaurs, maybe the wings are the best part, but go have a look at the head anyways. Great amount of detail into the head. They got this nice little mossy in the nost uh, sort of shine in the nostrils like I like. It's got the black pupils. And he's also got these nice jaw teeth that you can also clamp shut. Now that doesn't work properly and also it is out of alignment. I don't know if you can tell thanks to that. I don't think they put any thin like Papo sometimes does, but uh, who cares? Who cares? Certainly not me. I have nice patterning on the jaws here. I just love all the patterning they've gone into. And I think Wild Safari do actually hand paint these, I, I believe. And if they actually hand painted that, I think they've done a marvellous job. Like I said, my, uh, I love Wild Safari. Uh, Papo are better. But all in all, I think I kind of prefer this. No, I don't. I prefer the Pachys Pachycephalosaurus, what am I saying? I always prefer Papo products because I think they have a little bit more of a more of a good feel to it. Now the only thing that ruins the feel of this figure is this the writing on this wing. They could have put they could have just like put the writing on this, maybe. Am I the only one who thinks that? Oh god, that's gone on the floor. Well uh, nice flying dinosaur though, I gotta admit, I love it. Uh, you can tell they've added some feathers now. That may be because they think it's related to a bird, but nice sculpted detail all around there. And I st like I said, I keep saying I love this figure as a whole, and I love the colouring that they've added in to this figure. <laughs> it's a good, great figure, and I'm sorry about the sniffing, by the way. I got a cold. It's a common thing in uh, Wales, <laughs> really. Uh, so yeah, I really do like this figure. I would definitely recommend picking this up if you love the flying type of dinosaurs. So yeah, that is my opinion on this. Thank you guys for watching. And by the way, I shouldn't end off the video here because I forgot I'm going to tell you some updates. How stupid of me. Sorry about, sorry about that. My, my uh, thing was full. Sorry, my storage. And I'm very tired, so I'm going to just rush through my updates. Now, my updates are only three updates, I believe. Now... As you may know, I'm very excited for this. The Walking Dead on Monday. Yes, in America, you're so lucky you get it on a Sunday. Huh, we get it on a Monday. 
I don't care. At least we got it a lot sooner now, but uh, yeah, I would prefer on a Sunday. I prefer it on a Friday, to be honest. Everybody just watch on a Friday. Anyways, I'm going to be doing reviews of The Walking Dead each individual episode, hopefully. That's what I'm planning to do. Now, uh, one reason I'm not doing Random Gaming Weekly, if I didn't explain on another video, that's another uh, thing, is because... Oh, the storage is getting too full with reviews, and I need to do reviews more because I've decided my channel's more of a review thing than the gameplay things. I enjoy doing reviews more. Showing you guys what there is, and I forgot to tell you something on this figure. Really nice hand detailing going up, and you can see the hands there. Yeah, so yeah. And also, thumbs up, because I'm going to be watching and reviewing afterwards. Robocop the reboot. Now, not, uh, some some reviewers have said bad. Uh, some reviewers have said excellent. I I don't know. It's been mixed all around, really. But anyways, guys, tell me what your thoughts are on Robocop. If you really want me to, tell me what your thoughts are on this figure. And also tell me your thoughts on uh, The Walking Dead and what you think is going to happen. I know the schedule planning for uh, the first episode but I'm not going to explain that just in case you don't want spoilers. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Please like, subscribe and if you like this video and favourite. Alright, see you guys next time. Goodbye.